just like that i closed out one video and i am in part two of the q a so welcome back my name is Nate. if you're new please call me Nat. here on this channel i do motherhood and lifestyle and homemaking videos so if videos like that are up your alley please consider subscribing and join the fam i'd love to have you around here in today's video it's a continuation of a q a that i started which you can watch part one i will link it in the i cards and also in the description box down below if you have not yet seen it please check it out you by no means have to watch part one before you watch part two because i'm just answering all kinds of questions that you guys sent me over on instagram which leads me to my next point if you're not following me on instagram just yet my handle is right here on your screen please do so if you want to just keep up with my day-to-day -day life when i'm not here on youtube you know i show up on instagram every day in ways that i don't show up on youtube jumping right into it what was my turn to leave like in japan are you going back to the same job or different job now that is an awesome question because i realized the trend here on youtube that like the mom channels and stuff like that is like once they have a baby that's it like they don't go back to their nine to five jobs and to be honest guys if i could not go back to my nine to five job that is exactly what i would have done but for right now the plan is to go back to work because if you've been following for a long time then you know japan is not our forever home and before getting pregnant and having aiden we were actually <laughs> so close to being on our way out of here but you know the pandemic happened that slowed down a lot of things and then i got pregnant and so of course that also slowed down a lot of things in terms of like you know saving because obviously our, our attention had to be on preparation for having a baby and all of that so i have to go back to work at some point right now i'm thinking in november when aiden turns one year old so in part one i did talk about what the maternity leave is like here in japan so i guess that would be <laughs> It would be necessary for you to like go over and watch part one so that you can get an idea of how the maternity leave is like here in Japan. So you know where I'm coming from when I say I'm not going back to work until Aiden is one year old. Yeah, I'll be returning to my old job. But it is a part of the whole agreement of being able to stay home for the entire year is that you go back to the same job for at least a year because you take one year off so they act, they at least want you to give them one year back no don't get me wrong i don't think like if i decided that i was going to quit anyway i don't think i'd get into like any form of legal trouble but i don't know i don't know if any moms that have taken child care leave under the conditions that you give back the year that you, you took off to the same job and then they quit and then they got in trouble i haven't met any mom that did that but i'm almost sure that it's just a guideline and you know nobody can stop anybody from quitting their job whether or not they took child care leave for the year or or not but the plan is for me to go back to my old job unless something happens like a miracle happens and i can actually work from home or have a part-time job that would make it possible for me to be at home all of the time or at least most of the times to be with Aiden and also bring in some income to the table me being home and not working and not having like salary coming in for the past few months it hasn't been easy financially on my household which means we both need to be bringing in money to the table right now how do you manage your mental life with a newborn there's a lot of these questions about like my mental health health having a baby which just makes me realize that not enough persons talk about the mental struggles of just having a baby and what moms go through i feel as if most people like when you have a baby it's always about the baby like everyone asks about the baby and never asks about the mom and the mom will forever put up a smile on their face even when they're in the thick of it because you know it's a weakness that moms just feel guilty showing so thank you so much for asking about my mental health guys like it really means a lot to me that you'd care like that <sighs> how do i manage my mental health i don't manage it at all i just let it flow i'm i'm that kind of person if i'm going through something i just let it flow like i cry 
I set the baby down while he is screaming I'll, I'll sit right here and I'll just cry and because some of the times you're in the thick of it and in order to not become frustrated at your baby sometimes you just need to put them down in a safe place walk away cry if you have to and then come back to the baby and there is nothing wrong with that like if you have found yourself in a position where you just cannot and you had to like set your baby down somewhere and walk away let out a cry scream in your pillow walk th to the bathroom scream out to god and say you know god i cannot do this like give me strength i am there with you you are not alone trust me i have been there i have been to the point where i am messaging adam and i'm like you have to come home right now because there is no way i can do this any longer like it is so 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 hard and finding friends that are also moms have been hard for me as well because i feel like finding friends for me in general is like super super tough because then i get super super invested in friendships and then you know the friendship is not reciprocated the same way and it's a whole thing and then you find that i am most of the times i'm not like adam is like my best friend and possibly like the closest friend i have here in japan and so when he's not around you find that i'm just in here by myself with the walls of the house and then anything could be happening with the baby where that is making a good day bad or a bad day even worse because you just can't get a hang of what's going on and when he's not here guys i lose my mind i cry all the time like having a newborn it is not an easy job like it is so much work it's not just about changing diapers and putting on cute clothes on your baby it's the baby not sleeping it's the baby sleeping for half an hour it's you running from the shower it's you not being able to eat it's 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 your parents and your family always asking about the grandkids and never about you it is it's friends that don't understand that certain things they just cannot say out loud like it's a lot of stuff and if you're not strong it can really send you into some mental institution i'm telling you it's not been easy but i am going to give a lot of credit to adam my husband for helping me navigate all of that and i do have some really really good friends like my friend jessica oh my god she has been somebody that you know has related to me and tell me that girl you're not alone her her kid is like much older than aiden but you know she has been through this phase that i am now walking through and she's telling me you know it's okay to cry it's okay to do whatever and you know she also went through this and just hearing another mom tell you that you know it's okay what you're going through is normal what you're feeling is normal and i went through this and guess what it does pass even though you feel as if it's never going to end it does pass that's been really nice so i did want to publicly thank my friend jessica for like being there and listening to all of this the the, the 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 ranting and you know thank you so much girl yeah it's been very tough but i'm managing as i think i've mentioned this before but i've just now reached to a place where i'm like you know what when he's awake once he's fed and changed and happy it is okay for me to just set him down on his little play mat here and make dinner or film a video or even if i have to film a video while i'm breastfeeding him which you guys have seen in part one of the video just to get it done just to get something for myself done that is what i'm going to be doing so this is just a little new thing that i've said to myself i'm going to try my best to show up for myself however i need to show up for myself and that is why i am now getting back into actually filming and editing it's not that i have more time on my hands i just decided that i'm not going to have any more of those days where i'm just sitting on the couch feeling sorry for myself because aiden wants to sleep on me all day like it's been a long three and a half months of that and i'm over it and it is time to move on and kind of get my life back in order so that's where i'm currently at right now mentally but it has been hard and i'm sure it is not going to get easier another question oh this is not a question just like a statement it says i hope everything is good with you thank you very much for mentioning that i'm figuring the person said this because i've been really absent on my social media platforms i haven't been uploading i haven't been on instagram for more than like one story so i think that's why that person said that next question does it get overwhelming staying at home 
100% yes it does it is so overwhelming staying at home all day every day locked inside the house especially with a baby that does not take solid naps right now i'm sure like once he gets to a place where he is having solid naps and i can say when he goes down for a nap i'm sure he's going to sleep like an hour and a half or two hours i'm sure i'll feel much better but right now in this stage this phase that we're in he's only napping half an hour by himself in his crib or in his bassinet if i want him to have a long nap it has to be on me on the couch or i'm baby wearing and stuff like that and baby wearing can come in handy but it's still cumbersome to me because you have this big thing right here and to stretch over and watch wash dishes like it's nice and people make it seems easy like yeah baby wear baby wear baby wear but i don't find it so handy to let me get some stuff done yeah i can wear the baby and film a video but wearing the baby and washing the dishes or wearing the baby and cooking it's not as easy for me because like i cook jamaican here and you know jamaican food the oil and you know you don't want to have you wearing a baby while you're dealing with like frying something in the frying pot like what if oil splashes up and like catches the baby or something you know what i mean so it's not as easy to baby wear and do stuff so what was happening is that i found myself just sitting on the couch and being a bed the entire time but like i said i'm trying to change that now so and i do realize that a part of why i feel as if i was suffering from postpartum depression and i probably still am suffering from postpartum depression is just that adam has been home for what five days now that has made things a lot easier not just because i have the extra hands in the house but also because i have company in the house so even if it's a hard day even if it's a rough day for for me like being a mom wise the fact that i have somebody else in the house to talk to or to you know help calm me down or say you know what leave him with me and go take a shower leave him with me and go eat something or leave him with me and ju just go relax or film your video because right now adam has the baby and you know just having somebody to talk through and even to just look at him and say boy today's today was rough or today's rough or wow today is hard you know just having somebody in my my presence really helps me not focus on the depression side of it so when i'm just home alone i'm more easily triggered into depression are you still excited about having another child <laughs> <laughs> funny you ask this question because i think i've had this conversation with adam and i was like it's funny how childbirth isn't the thing that is making me question having another kid it's actually raising a kid is what's making me question whether or not i want to have more kids because for a lot of people once they go through childbirth they're like i'm never having another child again because of course childbirth is so so hard but thankfully i had a very good experience with childbirth it was a super positive birthing experience for me and i will be sharing my birth story here on the channel soon so be on the lookout for that subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when it's out if i'm being totally honest with myself like 100 percent i do want more kids and i am excited about having more children but immediately immediately postpartum like immediately after having Aiden I was like I could 100% do this again I, I was talking about like childbirth and the whole experience I was like I could 100% do an unmedicated birthing experience again and you know even in the just born phase at like the early early newborn phase it was when he touched that that two and a half going to three months when everything changed his sleep in his you know his temperament and all of that changed and it became really difficult for me the day to day that i started questioning whether or not like more children would be in the books for me but the more i think about it yes i'm excited to have more children because based on what i have been told by like my mom friends and stuff like that is that yeah 
the situation is hard right now but it does pass and if you're going through the thick of it and it feels as if it is going to be this hard forever but it does get easier this phase will eventually taper off and you will start having a better time and I am really hanging on to that thread and while I'm going through all of the rough days right now I'm just telling myself or I'm trying to tell myself that this is not going to last forever this is just the phase that he's going through he needs me now he's not going to need me like this three months from now so I'm just trying to like live in the moment and try to deal with each difficult day at a time right now as it is but I would be lying if I if I said I didn't think about not having more children but let's just see if it does get better like my mom friends have been saying it's difficult but I feel as if since I'm going through the thick of it right now as a first time mom when I eventually get on the other side I'll be able to evaluate and 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 just realize that you know it's really just a phase that it really does pass and that is what's going to get me through the difficult days of having another kid you know what I mean all right next question are you planning to stay longer in Japan or are you returning to Jamaica soon so we are staying longer in Japan as it is right now and the plan is not to return to Jamaica to live we have decided against going back to Jamaica to live just because we feel as if Jamaica is really just not where we see ourselves raising a family I love my country to death but I don't think it will give me or my family the quality of life that I want to live myself and the quality of life that I want to have my children live but we are going to be staying longer in Japan simply because getting pregnant and having a baby in Japan did affect our finances a little bit in terms of where we were at in saving to leave Japan so yeah we'll have to stay longer in Japan so that we can can start resaving the chunk of money that we had to use up in all of what was going on last year and then we can move forward with actually moving out of Japan and resettling in another country and I will share once I feel comfortable sharing like where we're headed to after Japan but right now I'm not comfortable sharing the whole process of that simply because we are still trying to like figure everything out and all of that i'm not hiding information it's just it's just best to not like say one thing and then have to re-explain myself about why this didn't work or whatever i just want everything to be heading in the right direction before i actually bring you guys on that journey but i will be taking you guys along that journey whenever the final decision is made and we are sure that we are moving out of japan and we're sure where we're moving to but the goal is not to move back to jamaica to settle when are you planning to bring aiden to jamaica to meet your fam as soon as we can financially we would love to hop on a plane tomorrow and go have aiden meet his grandparents and his aunts and his cousins and all of that stuff but we are just not there financially at the moment it costs an arm and a leg to fly from japan to jamaica and also even though i have a little more free time on my hands adam is still working full time and you know if we are going to be traveling it's going to be it's going to have to be around the times when he's off of work and stuff like that so i would say soon not this year maybe next summer maybe summer of 2020 what three we were we have been talking about possibly visiting jamaica for christmas 2022 but like i said it's going to take a bit of re restructuring our savings and all that considering that i am not earning my full salary right now things are a bit tight i'm going to be honest with you guys we do not have it all together and we are not living a perfect life we have struggles just like most people not because 
you have like and i'm going to tell you this that if you have family members living abroad like not because they're living abroad it doesn't mean that they have a ton of money that they're struggling just like you are so and that is the situation for us right now because i'm not getting a full salary so finances are hard right now so we are we are planning to go to jamaica as soon as we it's financially possible for us because we really want Aiden to meet his grandparents especially because Aiden is the first grandchild of for Adam's parents so we really really want them to meet him and hold him and you know have him see them anywhere else but on a phone screen you know what I mean so it is a hope it is a dream but it's not happening right now but whenever we make that decision of course I'll be capturing it on camera <laughs> so you guys are obviously be a part of the journey when that time rolls around what was father, what was the father who transition life for adam so i'm going to have him hop on and answer that question for you but currently he's trying to get aiden down for a nap so once that once he's done with that i'm going to have him come in and answer that question for you but the last question from my end um is going to be how do you balance caring for a baby catering for your husband and finding personal time and if you have been watching like part one and majority of part two of this q and a you would realize that i don't <laughs> that is the real answer here i do not find time to do all of those other things adam has been picking up most of the slack in terms of domestic duty so adam has been doing more laundry adam has been the main cook of the house um, Adam has been cleaning more and I have more so been focusing on keeping myself alive and keeping the baby alive throughout the day so I do not have it all together by any means possible I don't know how the other moms that I watch here on YouTube do it because they really make it seem easy and going into this I really thought that it would have been easier for me because I had so much plans of like videos that I was going to film like when Aiden was like you know early early newborn and when I found out that I just don't have the time or the energy to do all of this these videos plus you know taking care of him and taking care of the house it really put me into a bad place when I realized I just couldn't do it all so yeah I don't do it all and I don't manage at all there is no balance I'm just winging it so like I've been saying I'm just now at a place where I'm like trying to get back to a place here i feel like i am more than just a mom and start focusing on doing other things that make me me it, it's been a journey so far a journey that i love of course but a very hard journey especially on the mental health there is no balance right now i'm just trying to figure it out as it goes along and like i have said already in this video i thank god for the husband that he blessed me with because adam has been super understanding and he has been picking up so much of i'm going to say slack for lack of a better word but he's been picking up a lot of the slack around this house so i thank god for that oh somebody did ask what my plan is for when i go back to work in terms of daycare and like what's the process of getting into a daycare or enroll in one so here in japan the, the nurseries are very competitive and each month like you really have to apply for a spot in daycare like way before <laughs> you need so if i want to have aiden enrolled in daycare like in april i'll probably have to start applying from like march or february or january like somewhere around that 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 area and basically everything is done through city hall like it's that like government basically you're sending your applications through them and in terms of how much money you pay it really just depends on your household income so you find that every person that's at daycare are probably paying different amounts of money because what you pay really depends on like your income um your household income that is yeah that's my plan for when i go back to work because we do not have any extra help it's not like we have grandparents or anyone here that will stay with aiden throughout the day so obviously when i go back to work he'll have to go into daycare so i have to just keep an eye on the daycare that i want to enroll him in 
and watch out for when they have a, a MG spot and send in my application and hope for the best. And somebody else did ask, um, how do you keep saying when hubby is at work and you're left alone with the baby and as i've been saying i do not keep saying i cry i set the baby down i cry i set the baby down i scream in my pillow i talk with my friend and vent and rant about mom life yeah i text my husband and say you know what i can't do this anymore please come home and then i also have my days where i'm happy and you know, things are going good, Aiden is taking nice naps, and you know, I feel really great. So, it's like this when you're a mom. Every day is different, but <laughs> the long and short of it is I, <laughs> I barely keep saying it's a struggle. But if I'm having a really rough day, things that do help, like if I find that I have to stay on the couch, I just stay on the couch, turn on a Netflix show that I'm really into, and I sit and I watch it, <laughs> you know? So if I find out that, you know what, some, I, sometimes you just have to give up what you're doing. So if I plan to like do the laundry, fold the clothes, and it's just not happening because Aiden is like super needy that day and I just have to be a bed on the couch for him, then I'll just be a bed, hold him in my hand, tiptoe, open the drawer, get a cookie. Cause sometimes I'm here all day at home and the only thing that I can, can manage to eat is like a snack in the drawer. Not even a cooked meal. Like that's how much work being a stay at home mom is like. Sometimes you not even can have a hot meal. Like I just have to eat chips until Adam comes in from work and cooks dinner. It's been that hard. So sometimes I just gotta have him in my hand, tiptoe to the jar, take out a biscuit, eat it on the couch, watch the Netflix show, and call it a day. So that's what I do. I just want to remind you that, you know, if you are in a similar situation like me, you're not alone and I feel you. And let me just have Adam hop in and answer the question that you asked. Adam, someone asked, what was your transition to fatherhood like? Well, this is what it's like. What, Constantly what watching the, the monitor. But um, to be serious, it's you know in in a relationship in a marriage, you, you try to put the other person first. But transitioning to fatherhood means there's there's no more trying. There's no more if you can or when you can. It's just a matter of someone else's needs will be before yours, and you have to do whatever you can to fill those needs. I mean, that, that's just one aspect of it. <laughs> What was it like though? Was it hard? Was it like mentally draining? Was it easy? Uh, it, it was new. Mm. new. I, I wouldn't say hard or easy. Harder on some days, easy on, on other days. It's a learning experience more than anything else. But so yeah, there, there are no days when <laughs> I, I would rather um, go back in time. But so, some days are difficult. Mm. Some nights are difficult. My, my perspective is Everything is, is difficult in life. Working is hard. Uh, being a husband is sometimes hard. So being a dad, why, why should that be easy? I, I don't know. Why, why should I expect it, expect it to be easy? Yes, yeah, that's what I've been saying. Like, like going into parenthood, nobody thinks it's going to be easy. Like, I don't think like one parent on earth goes into having a child and think it's going to be the easiest thing that they've done. But like for me personally, like when you're going through the thick of just a difficult situation or a difficult phase it does feel like it's torture and I've had moments where I'm like I cannot be a mom for longer you know yeah the, um, the, the, the 3am <laughs> madness is yeah taxing at times but I've been up studying at 3am you know doing uh, whether at, at undergrad postgrad or whatever so you know I, I've been up doing side hustle at 3am just the same so in all fairness, I, I, I wouldn't say that it is a stress that I can't or, or I am unwilling to endure. And the thing is, I've been doing all of these other things at 3 a.m. that are much less fulfilling than being a dad. So why not put oh out you know, the same effort yeah. or even greater effort for something that is going to mean more to me in the long mm. run? I, I, I've joked with Adam that maybe we need to reverse rules. That like maybe I should be the one going out. No, I, I'm, and he by, by no means am I saying that it's it's easy. <laughs> it's definitely difficult. But my perspective is, you know, not being yeah, a dad, yeah, life yeah, was yeah, also yeah. difficult. Yeah, I get it. Life wasn't easy. I get it. 
So it, there, there's another dimension now. You know, things are yeah. more complicated. There are more things to consider, but it's not like my life was easy and now it's hard. Mm. So what do I do? That is not the transition for me. Mm -hmm. I had you know, this difficult life or this complicated life and something has just been added to that. Mm -hmm. so so that's it and that is a key balance that has helped me because i like of the two of us i am the one that is more so likely to like head into depression and um just mentally unwell and just crying all the time and well, you have you have um, most of the the caretaking day-to-day -day work so yeah that, that is understandable but aside from that though, like even if i did not have a son I am still the one that's most likely to become overwhelmed and stuff. Adam is the opposite, so it's it's a good balance. So when I am in a funk, he is able to like, um, you know, be the be, be the strong one, be the rock. So I am not just being a hot mess all by myself. I have somebody to be like, you're a hot mess, but I'll help clean up some other mess. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that is going to complete the Q&A. I really hope that I have been able to um, oh, open up. Right, right guys? Yeah. Beauty you can calls. exit. Beauty you calls. can exit. I see movement. <laughs> but I really do hope you guys got um, an insight into what's been going on here and why I have not been uploading content. And please understand that I am still in the thick of it. And even though I am trying now to be more consistent, there still might be a period of time where I just cannot physically or mentally bring myself up to the point to film and put out a video. And I, I know you guys will be understanding of that and you'll be here waiting for me when I, you know, eventually come back. But that's what's been going on from my side if you enjoyed today's q a be sure to give the video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified every time i post a video if you're new please consider sticking around i am going to be doing lots of mom life content homemaking lifestyle all that stuff be on the lookout for all of the the video requests that you guys also sent to me over on instagram so the morning routine the night routine the day in the live vlogs all of that stuff they'll be coming so so soon so stick around and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys ah whoa that was a long video and all the clothes are on the ground after i just folded them Wow. <laughs> wow.